Well, hi there. This is Scott Duffy from softwarearchitect.ca. In this video, I'm going to talk about the expected changes to the AZ300 and AZ301 exams that come in the form of the new exams, AZ303 and AZ304. I do want to stress out at the beginning that these things are going to take months before they fully are implemented. So we're looking at March for the beta. We're looking at possibly June for the go live and for the 300 and 301 exams to be retired. And so you do have several months and no need to, to change your plans as of today right now. Now, we don't actually know what the exams are changing in terms of the contents of the exam. They have not released the syllabus of the, the exams. And so we can't do a side by side comparison to see what's changing. They did drop a hint in that they're looking at less duplication between the various roles. So the architect role and the, um, the administrator role and the developer role, there's sometimes a little bit of overlap where the architect role had some developer questions and had some administrator questions. And so hopefully Microsoft is looking at reducing the duplication, reducing the scope a little bit and focusing it on architecture type topics and less on uh, developer and implementation topics. So like I said at the beginning, the existing AZ300 and AZ301 exams will eventually be retired and replaced with these 303 and 304 exams. Those new exams will go into beta sometime around March. And you do have the opportunity to take these beta exams at a discount. So if you're looking to take these exams and save a little bit of money, hold off and you can take those exams around the March time period at 80% discount. That's roughly $40 instead of $160. Now, the 300 and 301 exams, which are the existing exams, will then be retired as soon as the new exams go live. And there's no extensions being offered. You have to have uh, taken and passed these tests by June 2020 if that's what you're interested in taking. Now, don't panic. If you did take these exams recently, the 300 and the 301, you got your architect badge. The certification is still valid. Uh, there's a two year expiry date on certifications. And so let's say hypothetically you got your certification in January 2020. Well, that certification is still valid until January 2022. So that's two full years from now to use that architecture badge. But if you did wait until March to take this exam and pass it, then you'll get a new badge that has a, some type of insignia or mark on it that will tell people that you've passed the new exams. And so Microsoft uh, will probably start adding years uh, or dates or some type of a mark into those badges. Now, let me cover some common questions that have come up in my group when I posted this earlier today. First question is, what will happen to my courses? I have a number of courses on AZ300 and AZ301. I do want to assure you, if you purchase those courses, you will remain in those courses for your lifetime access, and those courses will be updated to the new content. So the AZ300 will be updated to the AZ303 content when that's finally released, and 301 will be updated to the 304 content. If you are about to take that test, I would not change a plan because if you're that close to it, just do it. Um, and it's valid for two years anyways. If you are far away from doing it and you're thinking you were thinking about doing it this year or this spring, maybe I might wait to see how, if the new exams are more focused and have less development type questions, etc. So should you wait? It depends. Let's see what the new exam comes out when the differences are and then you can decide. So if it's close enough to the expiry uh, of those exams, I would take the new ones. If it is far enough away like it is now, I would take the existing ones and not delay your plans and not delay your life for waiting for something Microsoft to do something. Anyways, this has been Scott. Uh, I hope you appreciate these type of announcements. I would appreciate you if you hit the like button and the subscribe button on this video. Um, that would be awesome. I'll always keep you updated. If I do find out more about these exams, you can expect new videos from me. Thanks a lot, and I hope you have a great day.